Hey guys, um, if you are like me, uh, who likes to play on command line more than the graphics user interface, uh, this video is for you. Um, I recently bought a Inet uh, <coughs> printer and um, very soon I realized that uh, there are uh, hardly any uh, videos or any documents that can describe the procedure to use it from command line and <clears throat> I started investigating uh, found some uh, material and some documents and I thought I'll uh, you I like to compile uh, this video and display uh, whatever is available uh, for uh, Linux and particularly I have a Ubuntu 18 running on this laptop so First, uh, I'd like to show uh, the way USB works with uh, Ubuntu. Like on Windows, people are used to installing a driver uh, when they uh, plug in the USB cable. But in this case, uh, since it is using a generic USB to serial converter, uh, the driver is already there. So I'll plug in the USB and you will see and I'll run the DMASG command and you can see that it is using uh, a UART and um, the kernel has created a device called TTY USB 0 so at this point <coughs> you can communicate with this uh, uh, with this printer using TTY uh, USB 0 and uh, I have installed the Minicom also on this laptop so you can see the uh, output coming from this printer so this is start uh, actually came from the printer you can see some basic information like uh, how amount of RAM that is free and right now it is waiting for commands uh, on this uh, serial port and just for your information I have configured the baud rate of uh, 115200 no parity 8 bits data and one stop bit so 115200 and 81 so um, there are uh, G code commands which this uh, printer understands and I will post the link to those G code commands. It is on RepRap.org, um, and this document describes in detail each and every command. But what I found most useful was um, a way to move the the nozzle uh, at different locations, so that uh, so that you can uh, calibrate the printer or uh, get it out out of your way whichever you, you want to use uh, so I I have created bunch of aliases but I'll show you on the command line um, like for for example we all uh, use the home button uh, on the printer you can issue the same home command using this and you can see it in the video on the left uh, the head going through the routine So that was the home command and uh, on the minicom window you saw uh, what all it sent back as a response. Now suppose I want to move the uh, move the nozzle to a location uh, which is x30. Remember your, lo your corner near you on the left is 0 and uh, x is actually uh, parallel to you and y is perpendicular to you and z is of course z or z as you call some Americans so x y z so I'm saying move to 30 30 20 <coughs> so it is moved to 30 and you don't have to specify all three actually there are more arguments to this g1 command so the structure of this command is that you are sending a command called g1 that is a g code command and you are saying 
these are the arguments to the command uh, x is 30, y is 30, z is 20. So I could just say move only the z, let's say I want to move it to 80. And be careful here, don't go uh, beyond the range of uh, printer. Like if I type 800, I'm not sure what will happen because there is no stopper uh, on the other end. There, there is a stopper at the lower end, but it might damage the printer. I have not tried, please you also don't try it. So, you know, just now you saw the Z is now moved to 80. I can move it back to, let's say, lower location. So these are the basic um, commands that I have used so far for um, just moving around the head or the nozzle and there are of course I don't know hundreds of commands and perhaps whatever you see in this document may not be fully uh, supported by this printer but I think uh, most critical part would be and uh, uh, I, I even tried uh, dumping a serial, uh, dump, dumping a G code file directly to the serial port. Uh, in that case, what happened? Couple of top commands got executed, but then later part did not get executed. So most probably it was because the printer uh, did not have enough buffer and it discarded my rest of the commands. So I also wrote a Perl script, which will wait for the command to be responded. Uh, and then send the next command but then it, I saw the nozzle movement was not very smooth perhaps there was too much delay back and forth and perhaps that is why people recommend that you print from SD card and uh, there are commands available to first save the uh, file to the SD card using serial using the USB cable itself and then print and uh, towards the end of the video I will talk about the uh, the what the octo pi or the octo print which basically does this using python uh, from the and you can use it from ui as well as from command line um, and uh, right now what we are just discussing is the basic echo command that linux supports and you you are writing it to tty and if you are uh, using a baud rate of something like uh, Two five two five triple zero. Then perhaps uh, you need to set the baud rate first using set serial command. Otherwise, uh, just this echo command also works fine. So what I ended up doing was I created bunch of aliases in my bash rc so that um, I don't have to type and when you're typing it on command line you you are, you are um, uh, susceptible to more mistakes so like you know uh, if i want to move the header to my near left corner i will just type nl and if i want to move it to near right corner all this uh, similarly i have far left far right and also for all z uh, commands uh, the vertical movement I have set aliases uh, like you know I can say move it to 10 mm or 20 so these aliases help me uh, avoid typing as well as avoid making mistakes so I will strongly recommend that you also have aliases uh, so you might know how to set aliases I mean, otherwise a bash uh, standard bash alias like for example, there is an alias called Z0, Z which is echo G1 Z0 to dev TTY USB0. Uh, this is how you put it in your bash RC file and this alias is available to you. Now the other thing that I would like to talk about is the set of softwares that I'm using uh, for basic modeling and then printing. So the first thing that if you want to do uh, modeling from scratch. Uh, FreeCAD uh, is pretty comprehensive on uh, on uh, uh, Ubuntu as well as any Linux for that matter. And uh, uh, I guess this this will get take time getting used to. 
but once you master it perhaps you can do uh, everything uh, right from creating models to editing models and everything so this is one software that I have been using for creating uh, models from scratch and then of course you might have heard about Cura uh, which is um, used for slicing and then making the G code file um, I could not make the Cura directly talk to the printer perhaps it is the support is withdrawn I think for the same reason I mentioned earlier in this video so this is the uh, Cura and as you can see I am using uh, Prusa i3 which is the same as NET A8 so you can use the same profile you don't have to create a new profile uh, and uh, the, I have tried uh, uh, you know scaling different models and printing it through this it works fine uh, so another uh, software that I found works very well and is very powerful is AutoCAD's mesh mixer and for some reason I have uh, messed up the 2.9 version so otherwise 2.9 version is also available and 2.7 uh, is actually working fine for me and perhaps is good enough for my needs so this is uh, uh, this is a, a piece of software where you can do things like you know uh, 3d sculpting and uh, change the scale or create uh, coarser or finer uh, mesh in your object uh, hollow the object so suppose you have created a model in FreeCAD and but it is solid so it will take a lot of material to print you can bring it to a mesh mixer and uh, you just can make it hollow you can create supports all that can be done in uh, mesh mixer The last thing I would like to talk about is a uh, piece of software that I found is really wonderful as far as controlling or monitoring the printers is concerned uh, is OctoPrint. So you might have heard about people doing a Raspberry Pi uh, connection with, with the NET printer so that they can monitor, uh, monitor and control the printer remotely. Um, but the same piece of software, the OctoPrint can be installed on your Ubuntu uh, desktop or laptop also and I have done that and uh, uh, it installs uh, it in uh, virtual Python environment so it does not mess up your uh, 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 rest of the Python environment so uh, you can download the source compile uh, and follow the instructions as they are on the in the description part of my video and uh, you just run the server uh, the server comes up and it brings up the uh, sir, the TCP 5000 5, HTTP localhost uh, 5000 port you can open the URL in any browser and uh, so this is the la launch page where it is showing you the current state of the printer uh, you can control the same things that we were doing using command line you can do it here you can move the cursor up and down or home you know move the Z uh, I haven't tried it completely but I'm pretty sure this works fine it has a built-in uh, G, G code viewer which shows the progress of uh, your model getting printed and uh, there is a terminal where it will show you the printer uh, output uh, as you saw in minicom earlier uh, you can upload files to the printer, you can print those files, you can view the content of the SD card. So perhaps once you have this tool, you will not be using those clunky buttons on the printer. There is no need for them. So uh, I will repeat uh, the, the for Ubuntu, uh, I am using FreeCAD, uh, Mesh Mixer, uh, of course the Cura and now the OctoPrint and I heard uh, in OctoPrint you can do uh, time-lapse recording uh, video recording of your model getting printed and then uh, you know fast forward the print, print process uh, for that you have to uh, connect it to a webcam I have not tried that but uh, I saw some pretty cool videos generated by OctoPrint alright so that's about it for the time being and uh, I will be adding more and more stuff as I discover 
and feel free to comment or add your uh, discoveries so that we all know about them and um, uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel uh, or like my video at both uh, thanks for watching bye bye